not fair. <laughs> Hello once again, my Android friends. Welcome to Tuesday's episode of The Mandroid Show. I am David, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com, and I styled my hair today. It's weird, huh? Some of you have already clicked the stop button and closed the window, haven't you? Yeah, it's weird. Anyways, guys, if you're new to The Mandroid Show, it's just me talking about Android, you know, just talking out of my ass. But I try to keep it entertaining, I try to keep it funny, so hey, let's talk some Android. It looks like two pictures were taken from the Asus Google Nexus tablet, and they leaked on the internet yesterday. Yeah, here's one of them, and I have no f clue where the other one is. Yeah, I know, big deal. It's a stupid picture, but I guess the significance of this picture really is, is the geolocation. Yeah, it seems that it was taken from Google's Building 44. Some top secret cash. Are you guys intrigued yet? <laughs> I didn't think so. It looks like the boys over at The Verge said this could have been, you know, forged, like the EXIF data. Maybe someone faked it, you know, like all my ex-girlfriends. But from what we can tell is it's legit, and I guess there was, you know, something on G+, where somebody was sharing it that was very secretive, you know, in their own little uh, circle jerks. <clears throat> I mean, circle. Sharing. But anyways guys, it's just teasing as Google loves to do when they have a new device coming out. But stay tuned, we'll let you know about further circle jerks. Alright, first rounds of CM 7.2 stable builds have hit the internet and they're available for you to download. It's kind of weird talking about CM7 with all the CM9-ness that's been going on. We're all waiting patiently for our CM9 and it really has not officially been let loose. There's been, you know, nightlies and all that fun stuff, but still. We're we'll waiting for that tasty treat. It's like can't see him seven. <laughs> Gingerbread? What the hell is that? I don't like it. Seriously. I don't like Okay, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's, it's, it's cool. Because, you know, not a lot of us are, you know, blessed with some ICS on our phones. Anyways, yes, CM 7.2 is released and is available for you to download, so check down the links below in the balls area. Click the article, see if your device has made the grade, and uh, download it, put it on your phone, and let us know how it is. Gingerbread. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm a, I'm a dick. All right, looks like the Galaxy Note 10.1 was caught on video showing its stuff. Showing all its sexiness. You're a naughty tablet, you naughty little tablet. Yeah, basically the video just shows you a run through of some of the apps and you know, just the UI and you just get to see what's going on with that bloated Galaxy Note. Yeah, there's still rumors that the Galaxy Note 10.1 is gonna be rocking a quad core chip. We know that there's been recent design changes for that little S Pen and everything like that, so it's getting a little sexier turning me on. You guys thinking about getting one or is, you know, some other tab just catching your eye? Honestly, I think I'll go Transformer. I've been wanting to get a tablet for a while, I just don't. Ah, I don't know, I'll just do whatever Carly tells me. Oh, baby. That's right, you grip that one ass. Grip it like you need it. All right, now for the week this week, we got another little Twitter client for you guys to try out. Freaking another one? I know, there's like 67 and a half third-party Twitter applications out there. It's like, <laughs> But this one comes from a well-known XDA developer, Handler Exploit, and he simply just wanted a Twitter application that was clean, better, and fast. Well, he's got it here. Meet Tweedle. You cute there, Tweedle. Simple, fast, clean, and I don't know about better, but it's still a little baby bird, so don't get too excited with this yet. If you are a Twitter junkie, you know, there's certain features missing, like certain filters, and you won't be able to retweet with comments. It's simply just a fast Twitter client that'll just get your tweets out there as soon as you think about it. Hashtag Mandroid Show is awesome. So anyways, guys, if you're sick of all the other Twitter clients, try out Tweedle. It's available free in the Play Store, so you really got nothing to lose, so... Tweet on, my tweet hearts. Let's tweet the crap at each other. I like the sound of that. Yeah, what's up, Dad? You know, there's so many launchers out there, you know, just so many you can't even count it on. Well, maybe you can count it on two hands. But you know, they're kind of getting, you know, few and far. You know, there's launchers that come out and it's just, well, if they don't measure up to some of the big boys, it's like, what's the point? Me personally, I'm saying, what other launcher is gonna come out that's gonna outdo these other ones? Well, I think we might have found it. In comes Rabbit. Wackily Wabbit? Yes, Rabbit Launcher is basically Go Launcher on Acid. Something like that. 
Yes, it has a similar look and feel as Go Launcher, but it has a nice little 3D UI that will kind of pretty much blow your mind. First off to notice is on your dock bar, where your icons are, you get these little transparent 3D cubes that rotate. Very, very sexy. As well as live wallpaper that moves as you scroll. When I tried it out, I had the cloud theme, and like they have these little clouds that are like cut out and they're hanging by strings, and as soon as you move through your home screens, they bounce back and forth. It's pretty awesome. There's also another one that was kind of like Tron looking. It was like a circuit board, and it's like has like flashes. Pretty damn cool. And what really caught my attention too about this launcher was the fact that you have like live wallpaper, you have this 3D themes, you know, everything's moving around. But yet when I looked at my task manager to see how much memory it was taking, it was taking about half the memory as Apex Launcher, which is what I've been using. So I was pretty impressed by that, like wow, all this is going on and it's not using a lot of my memory. What the hell? Okay. I'm really anxious to see where this launcher goes. I mean, if this is the start with all this crap that's on it, wow, good job guys. You guys are awesome and I can't wait to see where you guys go with this. Anyways, I highly suggest you guys check it out. It is free in the Play Store, so you really can't go wrong with it. There's a bunch of themes that are coming out too, and those are free as well. So check down the links below or just head to the Play Store and type in Rabbit Launcher. Give it a try. I'm sure you'll be impressed. Be very, very quiet. I'm downloading Rabbit Launcher. That was stupid. Well, you knew I was going to go there, you know, because I... I'm a freaking cartoon. Well, alright guys, that was Tuesday's show. I appreciate you clicking in as always. Make sure you subscribe to the Android Spin channel. Hit that like, thumbs up button. Show love with a like, like I always say. Check down the links below for all the social media that you can follow or add me to. Check out my other channel too, where I do film reviews and vlogs and all that just fun stuff. It's just me reaching out to you guys through the magic of video. Alright guys, I am David, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com, and this has been the Mandroid Show. And T-Mobile, so uh, we'll let you know what it's going to be called and all the specs and all that fun stuff. You know, sometimes late at night, I mean, sometimes late at night. No, I can't say it. Don't say the name. Film review on Men in Black 3. I know it maybe came out like a week and a half ago. Yeah, well, I suck. That's all. They simply suck, and not in a good way. In the bad, like, 